So I want to talk now about how you got into Hollywood. It started on the set of Runaway Train. Yeah, 1985. Right? Well, it started, I got a phone call at 11 o'clock at night from some kid that was trying to stay clean. I didn't even really know him. He just asked me for my phone number at a, at a, a CA meeting, a Cocaine's Anonymous meeting. And, uh, and he said, hey, man, I'm really trying to stay clean, and there's a lot of blow down here in my job. 85, cocaine was like crazy. I mean, yeah. it was everywhere. You know? And so I said, OK, give me your address. I went down to his job. I thought he worked in a warehouse because it was over in Dogtown. It wasn't. It was the movie set of a movie called Runaway Train with John Voight and Eric Robertson. He was a PA. And I walked on, and I was introducing me to everybody. And this one guy asked me, hey, do you want to be in this movie? Can you act like a convict? I said, I'll give it a shot. I, mean, I thought it was funny. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget it. I take off my shirt, and that guy goes like this. Wait a minute. <laughs> And I'm thinking, what kind of gang sign is that? Right, right, right. <laughs> and so uh, this other guy comes around and says, hey, you're Danny Trejo. And I says, you're Eddie Bunker. He said, Danny, I saw you in the lightweight and the welterweight title up in San Quentin. I go, yeah, Eddie, what's up? We started wow. talking. And he asked me, are you still training? I said, yeah, yeah, I box a little bit. I'm still training. He says, uh, you know, we need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. I said, what's it pay? And he said, uh, 320 a day. And I said, how bad do you want this guy beat up? You know, so <laughs> I, I started training Eric Roberts how to box Look for the that. movie Runaway Train. Andre Kozlowski, the director, yeah. saw that I could handle Eric, so so he hired me. He said, you'd be in movie. Wow. And it was nonstop. I played inmate number one in every prison movie from 1985 to 1991. Did you fall in love with it right away? Absolutely. It's funny, because you know what, Mario, it, I was just be an inmate number one, I loved it. I'm on these movie sets. And then I'll never forget the first time I was ever interviewed, this little girl, she just came up and said, Danny, aren't you afraid of being stereotyped? And I said, uh, as what? And she goes, well, you're always playing the mean Chicano dude with tattoos. And I said, I am the mean Chicano yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got it right, finally. Right, you know? exactly. They're not, they're not painting guys brown, you know? And so it's like, I, I didn't know, I didn't know you got typecast. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. I just kept working. Yeah.